Hello, I'm Dara Perez. Um, you guys know I just recently went to uh, a conference that I attended in Minnesota. Um, the name of the conference was called the Native American Nutrition. Um, so it was the Native Seeds Conference, and it was the second annual that they held. Um, and it was take it took place in uh, the Mystic Lake Casino. The Mystic Lake Casino is basically in uh, Shakopee, Minnesota. It was very beautiful there. Um, the whole concept of the 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 conference was uh, to teach about the medicinal plants, to teach about bringing um, traditional foods back into communities, you know, because a lot of the native people are losing that. So um, there was tribes from all over. There was tribes from Seattle. There was tribes from uh, Canada. There was people just, just, just all over. You know, there's people from every reservation. There was both, you know, urban Indians and as well as um, the reservation-based Indians um, or Native Americans. But um, So this was uh, one of the pictures that is outside of the casino. It's just a big teepee made out of the spotlights and it just shoots up into the sky. I thought that was really amazing. That was actually from my hotel room on the seventh floor. Um, so the Growing Resilience Project, the reason why we were there is for the Growing Resilience Project. I'm a board member for the Growing Resilience Project and the Growing Resilience Project is a project <coughs> that's happening on the reservation. Um, and basically it's based around uh, providing gardens to the reservation, to the community members. It's a five-year project and uh, we're in our second year, so we have 32 gardens on the reservation. Next year, we'll have 54. Um, let's see. So there's the, uh, you wanted to learn more about it, growingresilience.org. So our future and the whole plans of it, uh, like I said, we're gonna provide 50 gardens for both the Eastern Shoshone and the Northern Arapaho. So we, uh, we plant herbs, we plant um, just a lot of, you know, medicinal stuff that we use and as well as like lettuce and squash and um, Northern Arapaho, East and Shoshone. So these are some of my community members. We uh, made posters. The posters were basically our entries into getting this presentation done. So these were the community member boards and they told about the, the gardens. And then we went ahead and the community advisory board, there's Clarice Harris and there's Pat Harris and then there's myself. And it's a board of seven members, but only three of us attended this conference. And um, so this was our, basically our presentation up there that, you know, they created into a poster. And uh, getting up there and speaking, it was really, really nerve wracking. It was very nerve wracking. Um, the whole nervous part of it was that it was um, a P, it's called a Pika, Ki Pika Kucha presentation. Pika Kucha presentation means 20 slides in 20 seconds, which equals 40 or six minutes and 40 seconds. So that's what we're talking. And so three of us presented ours. And so one person had seven and then two of us had six. The first person that went was very, not paying attention to the slides. And so it kind of just threw it all off. But um, Clarice really kind of cleaned it up. And then when I went up there, you know, I kind of had to sit there and I was waiting for mine to come up. And the next slide that came wasn't mine and people were staring at me. So I really got nervous, you know, I really got nervous. And um, I just started talking, you know, I started talking about a lot of the stuff that I learned in uh, anthropology and kind of like what it, uh, how it related. And uh, it really, it really, it really worked and I cleaned it up really nice. So um, there was actually a lady there also that told me that I had surprised her. She's like, you know, I, I kind of judged you wrong. She told me, she's like, I judged the book wrong. And it was, it was, it was quite an amazing thing for her to say that. So. They're bringing back the traditional foods. Um, some of the traditional foods that we had there, rabbit, we ate rabbit, we ate moose, salmon, clams, crab. Those were some of the traditional foods from a lot of the tribes that are across the globe. And so, you know, they incorporated that into the meals that they, they prepared. It was really delicious. Rabbit is amazing. It's actually better than chicken. Um, so this was kind of some pictures that I took as we were lining up to uh, eat dinner. And uh, the, whole, the whole conference, was it, was it was quite amazing because, you know, we learned a lot, but it was actually tiring because we would start at 7.45 in the morning and we wouldn't get done until 10 at night. So it was just nonstop. Um, some of the stuff they talked about was decolon decolonization. Um, they talked about the boarding school era. You know, all that is Indian within you die. You know, that's kind of like the whole subject and topics of it. 
Um, they talked about that. They also talked about Standing Rock. They talked about the medicinal stuff that, you know, that the natives, you know, they, they use in, in, you know, helping to heal their own bodies. And so, you know, these were just kind of the posters that were upon, you know, the, that were submissions as well for the people. There was a lot of presenters there. There was a lot of talkers. So there's the three sisters, and a lot of the tribes across um, this region and this area, the United States, they're the three sister tribes. And so there's three sister tribes. Basically, three sisters are beans, corn, and squash. And so that means that's kind of like the foods that they eat. That's what three sisters means. Um, and then so they talked about the pipeline, you know, genocide. They talked about... Um, just kind of the things that happened in uh, Standing Rock when they uh, went up there and they were protecting the water. A lot of it was, you know, they mentioned too that water is actually a medicine. People don't think that water is a medicine. And water is a medicine because our bodies are made up of water. You know, and without water we would die. So water is, you know, definitely a medicine. So some of this stuff, I uh, took some of these pictures. She gave us permission to use these if we wanted them. So there's, there's plants out there. This one right here is a burdock. Arcidium minus, and so it has a, it has a benefits, and so its benefits, you know, and it's in the roots. The benefits of this, you know, it can help throat infections, it can help boils, rashes, eczema, acne, boil, insect bites. Um, it's created into a salve. Um, so you know, a lot of these things, and like you know, we learn, you know, how to go out and you know, kind of identify these plants, and you learn how to turn them into medicine. Um, Another one is breadroot, uh, pedio, milium, escalentium. Uh, so again, it's usually the roots. The roots are, you know, really big. So it's in the root, and this one is ground up, and it's made into a porridge, and it's used to treat stomach ulcers, irritated bowel syndrome. Um, it also helps. It, it, it's been known to prevent diabetes, heart disease, and certain cancers. You know, so that was another one of the benefits of these. And so there was a lot of slides like this that they shared. And these, I just wanted to share a few of them. So I just wanted to throw in like two of them. So the Growing Resilience Boards, these are our members. Um, again, there's, you know, the scientific part of it. And then there's also us, the board member, the community board. And uh, so it was really quite an experience. Uh, one thing that I learned that I didn't know about was an app called Pigeonhole. I don't know if anybody has ever used it or know what it is. So Pigeonhole basically means like, you know, well, I'm done with here and there's questions. Anonymous questions can be asked on this app called Pigeonhole. So on this thing, you can go and people in the audience. So like I said, there was 250 people there. And so out of them 250 people, everybody was on this and they were asking questions and people can vote for each question that was asked and the highest voted question would get the question that's answered on the screen. And that's kind of how Pigeonhole worked and it was amazing, I never knew about it, but it was awesome. Um, are there any questions? <laughs> 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 Good? Cool.